A key aspect of my work is in the area of personalized medicine. Uh, today, around the world, medicine is not personalized. Um, when I go to the doctor with certain symptoms, a, a 10 year old girl with a different cultural background or ethnic background with similar symptoms, or another person goes to the doctor with similar symptoms, typically they get the same treatment. Treatments and the guidelines today, as well as the education of the doctors, is not personalized to the patient. So what we do is we look at patients where we know the treatment they have been given. Yeah. Um, we do not know what would have happened if they received a different treatment. So what we do is we utilize uh, state-of-the-art machine learning methods in which we try to predict what would have happened if a patient received a different treatment by looking at people that are close, both from a medical history perspective, ethnic, demographics, and so forth, to you, that have taken this alternative treatment. And then we look at the outcomes, the distribution of outcomes, these other people who are close to you have um, achieved using this treatment. And we project that because of the closeness of these characteristics with these patients, uh, your possible future would be among this distribution. Clearly, looking only at the efficiency and the algorithms and the data is only part of the story. In the end of the day, uh, humans are the ones who have to implement, nurses, doctors, administrators. So, and currently, the culture is not a data-driven culture. Uh, it's much more human-centric culture. So, in the experience I have in working with, with hospitals in the United States, is that take, changing the culture uh, involves listening to people, listening what are the, the pain points that they have, uh, addressing them in the solution, and uh, creating feedback mechanisms in which their feedback on the solution we provide is now included, uh, new feedback is derived in such a way that they feel participants as opposed to dictating solutions. This is critical in, uh, in making it happen. Data, analytics, statistics, machine learning do not play a role in doctor's education. I believe that in the future, in the in the near future, not in a very long future, I expect and believe that education of doctors will change. And in my view, the change starts with the young doctors and goes through a lifetime. It's very hard to, not impossible, but much harder to convince a 65-year-old doctor who is an expert and has uh, performed medicine for 40 years in a particular way to change the way. But a 25-year-old doctor who starts their career educated in this new wave of methods, I think is more likely. And I believe universities like MIT and other leading universities around the world have an obligation uh, as well as an opportunity to, to make this change. I also expect that uh, companies you know, the number of healthcare uh, startup companies has been increasing very rapidly um, in the world. So it's hard to know out of all this who would be successful, who would not be successful. But given the interest uh, and given the amount of effort, money, investments, I would not be surprised if some major companies of the future utilize analytics and data to uh, create so the future Googles, the future Apples uh, in healthcare. My father died in March of 2009. My aunt died in, in April of 2009. And my mother died uh, in August of 2009. In three months, I lost them all. You know, dealing with death um, is something that uh, makes you wiser and tell, tells you also what is important. So I would say this personalization of treatment and the emphasis of using data, which is an area that I have worked before, not, you know, have worked using large data sets in many other areas, finance, transportation, uh, services, and so forth. Applying it to medicine, it's not only a passion I have, uh, an academic passion, it's also a very personal one, is to try to help people with outcomes the, and to, make, to have an impact in the world in, in ways that, at least as an academic, both from a teaching and research perspective, we can hopefully affect positively the world. 
Um, so that's sort of a journey. I, uh, it, it is a longer journey than that, but I hopefully you get a sense of, uh, of at least the, the last decade of how what I have learned by looking at my family affected the questions I'm asking.